Now, Osana is having a game with a little Franklin that keeps running back and forth towards him. He's now lying flat, pretending like he's not interested, and the Franklin is running for its life. But just now, the Franklin was actually coming straight towards him. There you go. You can see he's popped his head up now because the Franklin has run away. But the Franklin was walking straight towards him, and he kind of hunched down and was trying to pretend like he was not interested but I think he's quite upset that the Franklin has gone all the way over that side but look at how majestic he looks on the edge of this water he's really turning into a beautiful individual he's watching the Franklins on the other side of the dam you can hear the Franklins are chasing each other around <laughs> Larissa, you're asking if cheetah, lions, and leopard males and females reach maturity at the same age, or does it differ between the sexes? Well, it's, it's not that they reach maturity at different ages, it's that the opportunities to mate come at different ages. So a male lion, male leopard, um, even a male cheetah to a degree, they have to get stronger and big enough to be able to compete with other males, and that normally takes a little bit longer than when they're actually sexually mature and able to mate. If you look at something like... Um, a female leopard, she's already starting to mate at two and a half years old, even lionesses, two and a half, three years old, they can start mating, um, and they'll normally conceive their first cubs at around four years, or three and a half, four, if, if they, sometimes a little bit earlier if they're lucky, but males generally don't f come right with mating until they're around four to seven years, depending on... on individuals there are anomalies obviously outliers on on that scale but generally the males only are able to mate at a much later stage but look how serious he looks isn't he magnificent Osana you are looking beautiful my boy he's very very well fed he's healthy he's definitely growing by the day he's starting to get a very wide round face thick neck and the male leopard in him is starting to come out and blossom and he's in his teenage years now so you know he's going to start going towards that two year mark and then once he starts to get to three four then that's when he's going to really put on quite a bit of size and then when he gets dominant and that testosterone flush happens that's when he'll do that last bulking up and then become massive so hopefully he's going to be an impressive male and i'm pretty sure he will be wherever he ends up but he is looking as regal as one could ever want to see from a leopard he's sitting beautifully for us at the moment and he almost looks as though he's kind of surveying his landscape from his throne which is twin dam's wall it seems to have become his place he loves spending time here and watching what goes on there's varying different types of birds and animals and all kinds of things that come down to this section and drink and so it's the perfect place for a leopard to spend their time but isn't that beautiful i think so I think there's not very many things in this world that can rival a beautiful male leopard when it's sitting head up like that, legs crossed on the edge of a water hole. It's, it's a magnificent scene. We've even got a bit of cloud to add drama to our afternoon. So you can see that's kind of scene that we are looking at at the moment, and it really is a beautiful one. But you can see now why I was saying it's difficult to spot him. You can see the camouflage when he's up against that wall. You'd think that yellowy color would really stand out, but as you can see from that, it doesn't. The spots actually blend into this mottled wall effect, and he can blend in very, very well. Beautiful, though. <laughs> Carsten from Denmark, you're asking if any of the big cats have the falling or landing on their feet part that domestic cats have. Yes, leopards, when they fall out of a tree, I'm yet to see a leopard land funny. They always generally land on their feet, even when they fall, and lions to a degree. They don't fall graciously, but they will land on their back legs or their front legs or a, all four of them. But they generally don't land on their backs ever. They kind of twist themselves in the air and land on their feet. So... It is the same with domestic cats as our leopards. They do do, and lions, they do do the same thing. Cheetah, I've never seen a cheetah fall out of a tree, so I wouldn't know. But leopards I've seen fall out many times, and they generally do land on their feet quite well. Unless, of course, you're Anderson male and you're dragging a carcass up a tree, and then you basically fall with the carcass. That throws you off balance, and you don't then land on your feet at all. You end up landing 
on your back and side. How he didn't injure himself, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, Anson Mayo was videoed once taking an impala up into a tree and he then fell for some reason. He fell out with the impala and landed in a heap at the bottom of the tree. So <laughs> that wasn't ideal and not very elegant, but it's very seldom that we see things like that happening. I'm just watching the water. Are you watching the terrapins? Maybe he's watching the little water boatmen that we've been seeing flocking past and or f swimming past and he's intrigued by all of that. It's just a wonderful, wonderful sight to see him like this. And he's almost looking as though as to say, where are all the animals that come and drink at this time of the day? It's not a, a hot day, so maybe the animals are not coming down and he's going to have to be patient and wait a lot longer anything to move into this area so I'm just looking behind me to see if there is any impalas or anything drifting but nothing 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 for him at just yet but I don't think he's gonna be down for too much longer I really do believe that he is going to be he's gonna yawn now and I really believe that he is going to start getting up and going shortly I maybe come down for a bit of a drink and then he's going to start going. Now, Hassan is sitting patiently waiting, looking around, and he really doesn't seem to care too much about any of the other animals that we get in this area, but one animal that will be worried about running into other spotted predators like we had this morning is the cheetahs, and I believe Taylor's cheetahs are having a tough time.